and welcome to a gorilla episode of Tilly the Comic Cooks. Um, my son is having a play date. I'm going to make them cookies. And don't worry, outside and masks on. Um, and I am going to make some Mint Madness chocolate chip cookies. I have made a cocktail that you may recognize from one of the first episodes of Tilly the Comic Cooks. Except I tried it in a magic bullet, and the magic bullet heats up so it doesn't work. So this is sort of a, a funky white Russian. But first we're going to do, I got the stand-in mixer. I'm going to put, I eyeballed half a cup of coconut oil and half a cup of a butter, or, you know, fake butter, earth balance, or country crock. And I'm going to put that in here. I pre-measured everything this time because, again, gorilla episode, and I had to kick the kids out for this. <laughs> it's sort of a twofer. All right, got all that. Next, we add, I'm going out of you just for that one. Next, we add our sugar, right? And we're going to blend those until they're smooth-ish. Um, your things locked. There we go. Oh shit. Ha! The coconut oil was not thawed and just shot right out. Okay. There we go. I am going to pause for a second so I don't waste my film. Okay. So it's smooth-ish. I can show you what it looks like. It's like that. There's some clumps in there. It's a little um, coconut, you know, non-dairy butters will, I think, get a little runnier than but regular butter. You can use regular butter. So I got a cup of that. I put in two thirds of a cup of sugar, forgot to say that. I am going to put a uh, teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to put in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And then now we are going to do our flours. Um, and I like to sift everything together. So I got a cup of almond flour. I got a cup of a gluten-free blend with xanthan gum in it. So it helps keep it together. And then I've got two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder. Okay, darker the better, but this time it's Hershey's. I blend it together, and I'm gonna do this twice. And I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to add the baking soda. So I wanna add the baking soda to get that blended in with it. Because the salt's already in there, so we're good to go. There we go. And I'm going to um, add this to the sifter again, add the baking soda, and sift it, and I'll be right back. Hey, look who got smart. I just moved it up a little bit closer. So I've got the salt and the vanilla in here with the butter mixture. I almost forgot to add my two eggs um, to, before the flour. So I'm going to whip those together real quick. And I scrape the sides of the pan. By the way, when you get coconut oil, there are certain coconut oils that smell more coconutty than others, and it's really your preference. I prefer one ultimately that doesn't isn't too stinky. Um, but some do. So, it's up to you and I mean sometimes certain certain things call for it. Okay. So this just looks like gross yuck, right? It's just yucky. Now I have the baking soda blended with all the flours and stuff. And I'm just going to add this about a cup and a half at a time. And with gluten-free flours, they say you don't want to mix them up too much. So. I just incorporated just a hair, barely, it's still all like floury on top, you can barely see the 
other stuff underneath. Add another cup. Add a little more going slowly because you don't want all that flour and dust to kick up. Okay, again, perfect. Starting to build up. I'm going to show you. See, it's sticking to that. All right, and then last but not least, I'm going to add this to the last little bit. Bing. All right, doing this. Now I'm going to incorporate it, and I'm just going to incorporate it quick. I'm going to go on high really fast, so it just gets speed with it, and then I turn it off, okay? And this is what it looks like now. <laughs> you can see it's light, fluffy. I didn't mix it super long. I taste it because I want to see if it's sweet enough. I added two thirds of a cup. I might add just a hair more sugar because we're going to be adding sugar and that kind of thing. And I also, I'm just going to throw in a couple handfuls of sugar. I'm also going to throw in just a splash more vanilla because I just want to up that vanilla flavor. Light and airy. Okay, that's in there. Again, not adding too much more. Um, and then I'm going to now add our Andy's Cream de Mint baking chips, which are awesome. And I add at least a cup of these. I add at least a cup of these. I'm going to add at least a half a cup of chocolate chips because I really want to up. I add just over a cup of those because they're tiny. And then I'm going to add half a cup of chocolate chips, whip it up, and then I'll show you how I scoop it. Okay, so I added... Um, I ended up adding a cup of the chocolate chips, uh, semi-sweet, or you can do dark chocolate. Um, I wasn't liking the consistency that much. I wanted it to be just a little wetter. It was very light and fluffy, but it wasn't the wetness that I wanted. So what I did was I um, added a teaspoon of vegetable oil and a teaspoon of water just to get it a little wetter, and then I whipped it on high again for just a short period to try to incorporate it fast. And I'm liking it better. It's a little bit more fudgy. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Oh, yeah. There's those mint chips. Okay. So now, our oven's been preheated already. So we're good to go there. It was 350, and I'll start scooping. Okay, I moved everything off the counter and um, cleaning as I go. Cheers, Paul Hollywood. You'd be proud of me. I'm not measuring by weight, though, so he'd hate that. Um, and so now I've got this here. I'm going to take this off and start scooping. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Woo. So got this big, beautiful, fudgy-wudgy, dark cocoa-y stuff, and I like to use ice cream scoop, you may remember from the chocolate chip episode. I think I have coffee. Okay. So here we go, and I just do just like that, and then I like to press down with a fork just because... Um, Gluten-free cookies can sometimes really hold their shape, especially um, these are a little bit firmer of a type of cookie. So I don't want to mess with, you know, if they come out domed, they'll be really crunchy on the outside and mushy in the middle. And we want a little mush, but oops, sorry, I'm like scooping way out of view. So there, all I do is push down with the fork, whoop, there we go, and again, I'm scooping like so, and just filling it up, kind of brushing off the excess, 
and dropping it down. These are not going to spread far like some cookies can, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put them in the oven. We're going to start at about 10 minutes, test them, and then I really don't like to do more than like 12 to 13 minutes. So we'll check back. Here we go, putting it medium up in the oven at 350, like I said, 10 minutes, and we'll check back. Um, by the way, when I was making the fork indentations, I kept going, boom, yummy, boom, yummy, which is a reference to the Cartoon Venture Brothers. Good luck finding that little Easter egg if you're a Venture fan. So, timer's about to go off, so I'm going to pull it out before that happens since it's an obnoxious sound. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. They poofed for sure. I'm going to test them. Nope, they are definitely still a little soft, but you don't want to overcook. Oh my gosh, if you guys start this right now, I'm serious, it will fucking kill you. I have three dogs. Three but it feels like this many that's why I did this okay so I'm gonna put them in for just two more minutes I do not want to go over 12 and honestly because they'll cook you know internally and you still want them a little fudgy on the inside so actually I might do just a minute more pull them out let them cool on this for a second and then take them off so again they don't keep cooking on the hot surface all right we'll check back Okay, I let them go a minute and a half, and I'm going to pull them out now. Last time I determined, you know, they were a little mushy, and they also looked like almost a little shiny and greasy, and they have actually matted up nicely. So I'm going to put the timer on for like three minutes while they cool on this, and then I'm going to take them off this and put them just on the rack, okay? And then we'll try them in a few. Okay, so I have been taking these off after a few minutes. My mom got me this awesome little cookie thing, but I also use it for frying. My puppy, Pizza, who you should know by now, um, she is wandering around whining because she wants to torture people. And I knew that was going to happen. Hey guys, can you, not, can you not do that right now? Thank you. The old dog and the young puppy. Such a good combo. I highly recommend it. All right, next stop, we're gonna let this cool a little bit more and then we're gonna try them with our coffee drink. There's the idiots. Love them. Okay, here's the moment of truth. That's how it looks. Mm. Very chocolatey, I'm gonna break it in half. Oh yeah, it is got good crumb, as they say. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Ooey gooey brownie minty delicious. Please go make them. All right, gorilla episode over because we're about to run out of tape. So I'm gonna do one last cheers. Okay. Take care of yourselves. Check me out on the 20th.